Hi, this is Daniel Hall, and in this video, I'm going to lay out what public domain content is and why you should definitely care about it. And then I'm going to show you how to find the public domain content from the very best sources. First, let's start with what public domain content is. Simply put, it is content that is not copyright protected, either because the copyright expired, the original creators placed it into the public domain directly, or the work was never eligible for copyright protection. So why should you care about it? Because you could pretty much do anything you would like with public domain content. For example, you could Publish it in different formats, books, ebooks, audiobooks, and video. And what makes public domain content truly useful is that you can do it all for free. This means you don't have to ask anyone's permission to use it, and you don't have to pay anyone any royalties. While I know this sounds great, the use of public domain content does pose some problems. One of the biggest problems is that much of the content is outdated and not easily used in many projects. But lucky for you, I'm going to show you how to find the best, most primo public domain content on the planet. So what is the single best source of public domain content? Drum roll please. It is the US federal government. Here's a little known fact. Government produced content is not even eligible for copyright protection. This puts 99% of it in the public domain. Now here's another wild fact that most people don't understand. The federal government is one of the largest producers of content in the world. Think about it. Three main branches of government, each with its own extensive network of agencies, departments, and subunits. Consider this. The federal government employs over two million people. And every piece of content that any one of those people produces goes automatically into the public domain. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Most of the people whose duty it is to produce con this content for the US government are highly credentialed experts in their fields, many of them PhDs. And what kind of content do these folks create? Short answer, almost every topic under the sun. But what's most important from your perspective is that massive volumes of quality content are generated in some of the hottest niches around, including diet and exercise, money and investing, personal protection and self-defense, and even travel. And the format of the content being produced is diverse as well. You can find textual material, videos, audios, PowerPoints, photos, art, and even software. And much of the content is cutting edge, current, and brand new. That's not to say that all the content must be brand new to be valuable. In fact, over the years, the US government has hired some real superstars and created some really cool and iconic content. For example, the famous photographer Ansel Adams was hired by the government to photograph some of the national parks. And some of the photos are stunning. And all of that collection can be used by you for any purpose at all without asking permission or paying royalties. Another example is Dr. Seuss, Theodore Geisel, who was hired to help in the war effort for the Treasury Department, as well as the War Production Board, and even produced films for the troops like this little ditty. But the point is that it's all in the public domain and usable by you. Speaking of superstars, you could use iconic images like this. Heck, they made a movie around this event. Thank you very much. So what I'm hoping to convince you of here is the absolute treasure trove that is government public domain. But I know some of you are saying, this is all well and good, but how does it help me? Well, the fact is you can use this content in your books, films, courses, blog posts, videos, podcasts, and even print on demand products like phone cases and t-shirts. If however, you wanna take a deep dive into making money with government public domain content, then you may want to check out my Federal Green Training. I'll drop a link to that below. Either way, consider using public domain content for your next project. 
it can significantly cut down on the time it takes to crank out a quality information product. What's not to like about that? One last thing, if you love this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel and mash that like button too. And last, remember, be the blessing.